Hello, Maverick Traders. Welcome out to conditional orders using the Trader Workstation platform. We're going to go through them on stocks, on options, on a variety of different assets. Let's have some fun. So let's start with a simple stock position. Let's say we were going to trade Apple or something like that. We were going to come in and buy some stock. First, I can select to buy. And if I wanted to, I can double click on this line to pull up an order ticket. From there, you should be able to see the conditional button. If you don't, hit the little arrow here and select it. Once you've selected it once, it will pull up for you every time like that. Now, you need to put in your criteria. Let's say we want to buy Apple you know, at the market or whatever, but we wanted it done with a condition or maybe a couple of conditions. So let's say that we wanted to make sure that the price went up above, you know, let's say Apple stock price, we'll punch it in. So I'm adding a condition, putting in what stock, what I want, let's say I want its last price to be greater than or equal to 148.50, a little higher than where it is right now. Let's add another condition and say we wanted to add a time condition. And maybe we want it to be later than uh, let's say 123. You know, we add a condition. So these are and, and you could change these to or. By the way, if you wanted it and one or the other, you could do ors. Um, in this case, both conditions need to be met. And let's add a third condition. And in this case, we'll say that the SPY, the S&P 500, needs to be above such and such a price of, you know, 401 per share or whatever. Okay, so we just add some details here and maybe we'll put this one at or. So you could say both of these have to be met or this one has to be met. Or we can say all three of these conditions have to be met. So you're adding whatever conditions you want to your order. You could even specify where, what prices and things on this. So you could say, but I, even though I want all three of those conditions, I want to make sure that I'm still paying less than, you know, 149 as a worst case scenario. So 149 is the highest I'm willing to pay when these three conditions are met. And so it just allows you the ability to control what is happening and add a few confirmation things to the trade. Now let's say that you're trading options. Same concept applies. Let's pull up the options for Apple and let's say that we wanted to buy this call option. And so we could buy this call option in a number of different ways. We could pull it up and we could say, well, I want to buy it at the market or I want to make sure that I pay no more than, let's say, 650 for this option. But while I'm willing to pay up to 650, which is higher than current price, I want a few conditions met first. I want the price of Apple to go up above 148.50. And maybe that's a breakout zone, right? Maybe it's breaking above that level. Now I'm ready to buy the calls. Or again, we could add time, we could add um, we could add all sorts of things. We could make sure that there's a certain amount of volume. We could make sure that the you know margin cushion is at, I mean, there's just so many different, but most of what I do would be based on price and time. And that's, I'd say 99.9% .9 of any conditions would be based on price or time uh, for me. So those are, are, again, some conditions that could be had. And so as you transmit this order, it would have those conditions attached to it. Now, what if we wanted to do some sort of combo trade? Let's mix it up and let's go trade Google. And let's say that I wanted to, again, buy some sort of spread. So I wanted to do a butterfly, let's say, with a March expiration and I'm gonna target a bit of a move to the upside, let's say something like this. And we build some butterfly that's you know going for X amount. And I'm willing to pay, maybe I'll pay less for it. I want to pay 45 cents for this butterfly. But 
I want certain conditions and I want to make sure that it's not below certain price. So in this case, I want the stock to go down, but I want to make sure that the stock is not below, what's it at right now, 90.45. So let's make sure that it's no less than uh, $89 per share. In addition, I want to make sure that the S&P is still hanging in there. And I want to make sure that the S&P, which is trading at uh, 39, 398, pardon me. So I want to make sure that the S&P is still above 398. And so whatever your conditions are, whatever you're thinking you need to see in the markets, you can be buying maybe the Google position, but you want to make sure that it hasn't broken below its support. You want to make sure that the S&P is holding in relatively well. And if those conditions are met, then I'm ready to act upon this trade. So as we go through and think about conditional orders, you have to ask yourself, what's your game plan? What are the areas of confirmation that you want to see hit? And that's all you're adding in place. Do I want the market, the S&P to be doing something? Do I want the stock to be doing something? Do I want the volume to look a certain way? Do I want it to be after a certain period of time? You know, you might use the time ones around maybe a Fed meeting or something along those lines. So if we said, well, there was a Fed meeting today, so I don't want to do this ahead of the Fed, we could put our time post-Fed announcement and say, okay, we want it to be later than that period of time that gets me past the Fed meeting, and then I want these other conditions met. If you like your conditions, as you come back to your order and you actually go through and place the order, it will show you, I don't want to transmit, but it'll show you, okay, you're going to buy this, paying no more than X amount, and this condition, this condition, and this condition must be met. And the technology takes care of it for you. It knows that the stock has to be um, less than 89, it has to be, you know, S&P has to be above 398, and it has to be later than this period of time. And away it goes. That will be a pending order. If all the conditions are met and your price is met, the order executes and away you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video on placing conditional orders with your stock and option positions. Have a great rest of your day. On behalf of Maverick Trading, I'm Corey Halliday. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.